Good morning, and welcome back to another episode of Rise with Rosedale. Uh, we're here. We got a fresh face. Um, some people in the church, if you're from our home church here at Rosedale, some of you all may recognize him. This is Aaron McLaughlin, or nicknamed Preppy. Um, he's going to be here with us today talking a little bit about the, the CARE Act that uh, Uncle Donnie has signed and that the, uh, that the government is is trying to work out for the American people. Yeah, so it is good to have him with us today, and uh, uh, he is one of ours, and, and kind of tells who you are and who you're with. And well, uh, I've known Jeff for, well, he married me in Chelsea, uh, and I've known him for, well, since I was in high school. I uh, learned about Jeff when I was in ag, and uh, was basically learned about him through that uh, and now uh, I basically have I worked at KVAT for five years and then uh, I went from there and uh, decided to take on a new career uh, and I've become a financial representative for a company called Western and Southern Life in Kingsport. Yeah. You know as I brag on a lot of our young people around here at Rosedale he is uh, Aaron has become one of ours that uh, has done well doing well in life um, I was able to uh, perform your marriage ceremony, and now you've got a little boy, Luke. Yep. And uh, it's always exciting to see our young people doing so well. So uh, we kind of got in touch with each other. You were talking, and, and he kind of had a, a heart. He is a financial representative, and he, he had uh, contacted me about uh, we're seeing a lot of these people, a lot of jobs being impacted, Tom. Mm -hmm. uh, I know yours has been, right? Uh, but you're still getting a payday. <clears throat> right. uh, you know, a lot of a lot of we have these essential workers and non-essential. Uh, a lot of people are not receiving a payday, and there's some things that are coming down the pipe. And uh, Aaron reached out to me and was wanting to talk to me about people in our church, uh, just to kind of show you a little bit of his. Uh, I'm gonna brag on you a little bit, <laughs> a little bit of his character. You know, he has he has people at heart. And, and this is kind of his, his financial job is a job, but it's also one that can, I've always said you can do ministry in any job you have. So mm -hmm. when he contacted me, it was about, do we have people in the church that are being laid off? Do we have people out of work? And he's got some, some things he wants to talk to us about today, about ways that um, he may be able to come alongside these people and help and some, some avenues there. So I don't want to take a lot away from him, but that's that's kind of where we're going today. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, with that, uh, uh, I appreciate y'all having me here today. Uh, <clears throat> my main reason I reached out to you is because I know out where my office is in Kingsport, the jobs have been impacted tremendously. Uh, I mean, there's people getting laid off left and right. And I was like, well, what can I do to better help people? What can I do with my job that I have all these tools to do? Who can I reach out to to find out what's happening back where I'm from? Because that's the people I know the most and I know I care about the most. Mm -hmm. So I reached out to Jeff uh, <clears throat> yesterday and uh, talked to him and was like, hey, hey, Jeff, I know you're well known in the community. Who do you know that has been impacted by this COVID that we're going through right now. Who who do you know that has been laid off? <coughs> and he said, well, he said, I probably could get you a couple of names, but how about you just come talk with us and we'll we'll see if we can reach out to you. So that's why I'm here today, is to talk to you guys uh, and kind of educate you on what you may not know about what uh, the government's doing. Uh, they did release what is called the CARE Act. Uh, and in that, uh, first we'll start with the stimulus. And in the stimulus, basically what they're doing is uh, they're going to send, uh, if you're single and are uh, and don't make over 75000 a year, you're going to get $1,200. Uh, and uh, after that 1200 if you make over 75000 there is a uh, kind of a cap on what you can get. They kind of start taking away from what money you do get. Uh, I can go further in depth with that if you contact me. Uh, and then also, if you're married, uh, if you're married, you will obviously get $2,400 because there's two of you. If you have kids, it's $500 per kid up to $3,900 for the family. Uh, and there's a lot more to just that. Uh, I can go on for a while about 
that part of it. Uh, <clears throat> if you have any questions, feel free to contact me or Jeff about that part. And also, uh, let's say that somebody has been laid off. I know a lot of people have been laid off here locally, and their minds right now are, what am I going to do? I, I can't physically pay for my bills. Yeah, okay, first you're going to get this stimulus package in. And also, the government has w went worked with unemployment and said, okay, hey, what can we do with unemployment? Because they're actually uh, speeding that process yes, up, aren't they? Yes, they're, uh, actually uh, them. they're like, okay, it usually, we usually have a week uh, before you even get a paycheck. They're immediately going to pay you the week that you file. Uh, and say that you file and you, they say, okay, you're eligible for $250 a week. Uh, they're doing a $600 flat rate on top of that. Uh, so if, say you're going to get to $250, you're going to get $850 a week now. Uh, so there is hope. The government's doing what they can to make sure that everybody is able to make it through this. And if you are having issues and think that you are not going to make it through this, please contact me because I have programs that I can put your financial situation in to make sure that you will make it through this. That don't. Don't stress out. Do not let stress get to you. Stress is the number one thing that keeps people up at night, and most of the time it's tied to money. If you think that you're going to go under, get, contact me or get, contact Jeff to be able to contact me. He has my information. Mm -hmm. Tom has my information. Most people from around here have my information because, I mean, I'm friends with most people around here. Uh, I have ways that I can help you, and... The program that I use, it's no charge. I mean, there's no charge. This is free. This is just me trying to help my community and be what I think I should be for everybody. Yeah, and, you know, we're talking about the CARES Act. Now, the CARES Act goes even deeper than the stimulus yes, part Yes, uh, I it. mean, you go into, they've, they've done a lot with 401K. They've done a lot with your retirements. Uh, I mean, and also, I mean, maybe you're a person out there that has a small business right now. You're like, man, how am I going to pay my people? Well, today they actually put out a, uh, it's like a provision, paycheck provision. Uh, and you can take out a loan right now for your employees to be able to pay them for eight weeks. Okay, wow. you p pay them for eight weeks and uh, <clears throat> you do not have to pay a payment on that loan for eight weeks. And then whenever the eight weeks is up, you can file back with the the say the SBA that you went through to get the loan, which is basically like a uh, credit union or something like that who's qualified to give loans. Uh, you can go through them and uh, they kind of tell them what you used it for and like do a deferral and they will make sure that you use that money for uh, paying your employees and uh, you can also use a portion of that money for rent, mortgage, utilities and stuff like that also. Uh, so and then you don't have to pay that back. So there's a, there is there's something, there's, they're making sure that people are gonna make it through this. We're all gonna make it through this. Uh, I know everybody's got their doubts and uh, it's definitely different times. I mean, oh, yeah. you know, like I was talking to Jeff, he, he said that, he said, I'm trying to figure out how to have church right now. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to figure out how to contact people and learn how to talk to them through a computer. And it's definitely yeah. been different. Yeah. And, and you know, guys, and that's one of the things that, we've started this show that's one of the things is to uh, a lot of people don't know the resources that are out there i don't know the resources you right. know aaron contacted <laughs> me today and was telling me some of the stuff he was doing uh you know and it's like he said what he's wanting to do right now is free um tom and you know it is what it is he is a a businessman and you are going to be you know you can uh, there's parts of your jobs that, as this goes on, that these people may want to give you business, and that, and that it is what it is. What he's wanting to do now is 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 free to help people realize. All right, I, I'm going on unemployment. You know, some some financial planning type stuff. Yes. Uh, that it, at this stage of it is free because of what the gov some of the stuff the government is doing, and you know, man, I thank you. You know, I appreciate yeah. you and wanting to give back to your community and, and wanting to give, you know, back. And and, um, and I'm going to be real honest with you. A lot of our view, and you know, be honest with our viewers. A lot of people are saying, well, he's just getting on there and trying to promote this business. You know, if you come to him right now, he's, what he's going to do is free. Six months down the road, if you like him, and I think you're going to, you may want to do business with him. And that's okay. 
you know, yeah. that, that that's okay, but, you know. Yeah, well, uh, that's like, he contacted me the other day, and Aaron asked me to, if I had, if I known anyone that was going through financial struggles during this time or anything, and I couldn't think of anyone off the top of my head or anything, but um, I told him I would spread the word, and then uh, he texted me and asked me what time I was going to be over here at the church that he was going to come down and do a Rise with Rosedale episode with us, and I was like, oh, well, that's great, and him coming all, where, you live in Bristol, right? Yep. Coming all the way from Bristol down here to do this, and to, uh, that is, I mean, Lord, I appreciate it. That's a, yeah. it is, it's well, a great well. display of character mm-hmm. to drive an hour to be, to be with us this morning. It, it, yeah. It's wonderful. Yep. We appreciate you. We do appreciate you. Uh, Welcome. And, um. You know, as we think about this, now the CARES Act is going to have, and I've got some emails from our Virginia Baptists from BGAV the last few days, but the CARES Act is impacting churches also. Uh, there's going to be some things for, Tom, um, um, I'm trying to think of nonprofits yep. um, that are coming through that because a lot of our churches are struggling. Yes. You know, they've got, yes, yeah. churches true. have bills. You know, we have one of our, I guess our first guest was with Debbie Newberry, our treasurer. <laughs> You know, we're good. I mean, Rosedale's going to shelter this storm, and, and, and you know, I feel we're good. You know, our, a lot of people still mailing in their tithes, uh, dropping them off of the church. Uh, you know, and, and, you know, we've got great people. We've got good people. But a lot of our small churches, you know, if they're not getting that offering in some of the big churches, you know, the bigger churches that's got mortgage payments or, you know, bills that they're having to pay plus you know payroll with staff and stuff um but this cares act is going to impact them also there's there's money that they can provide um so you know a lot of and you don't have to be a um virginia baptist church for me to tell you what i know you can call me here at the office um and and i'll kind of get you the the resources that I have, because I think that's what we got to do with each other. Oh well, yeah, I mean, we like I said before, we are the we, the church isn't the the physical church. No, you know, the church is the people, and yep. no matter whether you're part of the association or not, come to this church or not, you can call well any one of us sitting right here. I yep. know, and we would help you the best that we know how. Yeah, and um, so there's a lot that's going to be coming in place. Like Aaron said, you know, I've got his business cards if you want to call me up or come by the church office and say, hey, you know, I heard the guy. I know uh, we've got some guys in our church, uh, buck one, the mines yep. are laying off. I know we've got, you know, several families in our church that are going to be impacted by that. Um, I heard today, uh, yesterday that Noah, Noah Hornwell drilling yep. uh, was mm-hmm. going to be down. Uh, and different, different businesses that's impacting. So if you need... Um, Aaron's contact information um, to kind of, you know, help guide you in the, you know, what do I do? How do I get my unemployment? How do I get this stimulus stuff? What's out there for me? Um, Just holler at us at the church. Like I said, I've got Aaron's contact information. We'll put it up on our, on our Facebook page. Uh, He has come contact information. um, But any way that we can help you, uh, we're here for you. Yep. Yep. we anything else you want to no just uh everybody hang in there we're gonna get through this oh yeah uh and just keep your faith that's that's number one through all this uh uh that's the most important thing right now is people need to stay close to god and just pray about it we'll make it through it together that's right that's right that's right do unto others as you'd have them do unto you and i think it's what what we're doing at this time is just trying to help uh, each other, and um, it'll all come together. It's all gonna yep. come together. We're all good. Lord's got a hold of it, don't he? That is exactly right. Tom, I love the shirt. Oh, <laughs> that's our Bible release time shirts. Yes, yes, it is. Yep. John three sixteen. Yep. True, True story. story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are going to be seeing more of these shirts and uh, some of our Bible release time kids, if you're watching, uh, that you are a student at Belfast and you've worked, uh, been able to come here to Rosedale the uh, since the start of school. 
uh, you're going to be seeing that shirt uh, at your house uh, pretty pretty soon, one day this week. Yeah. Coming to a store near you, yeah. Tom. <laughs> <laughs> For, we make for, sell for three <laughs> for three payments of nineteen ninety five. They're expensive. <laughs> this one in particular it took a lot of fabric to make it. It's <laughs> <laughs> all that weightlifting you're doing. Uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> Give uh, us a verse of the day. I, I got a verse on my heart. Uh, it's Jeremiah 32, 34. But they set their abominations in the house, which is called by my name, to defile it. So they're, what it's saying there is that they set their idols in the house, which is called by my name, the church, to defile the church. You know, and Tom, as we've went through the last couple of months through the book of Jeremiah, um, that verse jumps out at me. Uh, you know, and as we look at God's house today and the state of the church, uh, not the state of a denomination, not the state of this church or that church, but the state of the bride of Christ. The church, yes. You know, I look at Jeremiah and I look at this time and I wonder if this is some of the shaking and some of the stuff that is going on today. God trying to get the church's attention. Yeah. He goes back to everything we've said from the time this all, all this mess started. Mm -hmm. It may just be a form of a spiritual warfare mm -hmm. that God's trying to get his people turned back to him. Yeah. Yep. That's what I feel it is, of course. Like I said, we've mentioned that 10,000 times on this show. Mm -hmm. Yep. You got any more enlightened word from the word unless you just want me to pick one out i was talking about the verse we just read you got anything else you want to say about it oh anything else i want to say about it yeah i'm good okay sounded good all right but it is you know those those false idols we've brought them right into the church yeah 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 and false idols some examples of false idols can be Literally anything. It can be. Can be the church. Yeah. You know, sometimes we worship the buildings that we're in. Yep. Yep. And, we and, it, and God has really showed us that the yeah. church is not within the inside that building. Yeah, I think that is very true. I think a lot of times mm -hmm. people take so much pride in being a part of one church that they well, they just think that that church is better than all the other churches. Mm -hmm. and they end up worshiping that church instead of, you yeah. know, Correct. our church does it better than this church, or this church does it better than that one, mm -hmm. and so on. Which is, I, 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 that goes on more, way more than it should. Oh, absolutely. And that kills me. Mm -hmm. I cannot stand that because the church is the church for all Christians, you know. Regardless of denomination, we're all striving for the same goal. Amen. Regardless of the once in grace, always in grace debate, regardless of any of that, we're all striving for the same exact goal. Let's all just get along. Yep. You know, help each other get there. Blood bought salvation. That is right. Mm -hmm. By the blood of Christ. That is right. Mm -hmm. Well, y'all got anything else? Good. Aaron, again, we do want to thank you for coming You're and being welcome. with yep. us today. And, and uh, I hope some of our viewers uh, take your heart on the... Yeah. Um, uh, I, I'm free anytime, all day. Call me anytime. Uh, okay. I'm going to do everything in my power to help who I can. Okay. That's the reason I come, and I really do appreciate y'all having me. Well, you know, I think a lot of people get intimidated by the whole process of things. Yeah. You know, of, of figuring out <clears throat> because um, trying to figure out who to call and what you know what phone call to make or how to get signed up on these programs or whatever right. um, we get more intimidated by the process of it than we do the so uh, just another tool in the toolbox that we can help you with here at rosedale and and um, again any any questions let us know church office is open nine to three each day monday through friday and um call and we'll 
get you the information we can. Absolutely. You going to pray us out? I would be honored to. Why don't you do that? Okay. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, as we come before you, God, we just thank you for all that you've done for us, dear Heavenly Father. Lord, for these two men sitting beside of me, dear God, I can't thank you enough for them, dear Heavenly Father, Lord, and just pray that you just bless uh, Aaron as he travels back towards Bristol's way, dear Heavenly Father, and Lord, and just, just be with us as we go throughout our day, dear Heavenly Father, Lord, that maybe we can come in contact with someone who does need a blessing, dear Heavenly Father, Lord, and that we can give it to him, dear God. And Lord, we pray that we can just be that uh, that beacon of shining light, dear Heavenly Father, Lord, in this uh, in this world of darkness, dear God, that that uh, the church, the people, dear Heavenly Father, Lord, that uh, they can shine, and, and and maybe the lost can can turn to all of us, dear Heavenly Father, Lord, and that maybe maybe just one soul can one soul can be saved at a time, Amen. dear Heavenly Father, Lord. That's just that's what we're after, dear God. And Lord, we just pray that you just bless all the lost, dear Heavenly Father, Lord, and pray that they can be found, dear God. And we just pray that you forgive each and every one of us for whatever we fall short of you. For it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.